Alrighty folks, welcome back. This is Anisos. Time for some more videos. Today I'm going to start a new game. This is called Ark Survival Evolved. And it's a new early access game uh, out on Steam. Yes, I know, more early access. But uh, this thing is getting a ton of attention. It looks really interesting. I think it's got a lot of potential. And the devs are updating it like crazy. I mean like half a dozen patches a day at the beginning. And... Uh, just lots of good updates. The optimization is getting much better. If you heard about it on launch, it was really hard to play, um, and uh, it's it, it's getting there. So it's about time where I can start recording this on my system and having decent performance. So uh, primarily, I guess, or I don't know if I want to say primarily, but this is yeah, I'd say primarily this is an online game. Uh, we can join one of the official servers, or there are thousands of non-official servers. Uh, anybody can run their own server. Uh, just download the software for free. It's it's available online, and you can set up your own dedicated server. Uh, but right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and play a local game. Oh, and also, when you join the online ones, there are PVE servers. Uh, most of them are PVP, where you can player versus player or attack other players, uh, which is interesting of its own because you can form your tribes and they can form their tribes, and you guys can have wars and all sorts of exciting stuff. Uh, but you can also go to PvE worlds where you can't attack other tribes and you don't have to worry about base rating and stuff like that. So I might get into one of those later, but for right now, it's still early access. I consider this kind of an alpha. It's changing a lot. Tons and tons of updates. So I'm going to go ahead and create my own ser my own uh, local game and do a little bit of video recording on this. So let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, I will point out, uh, there's a difficulty level slider. I've got that on whatever the default was. I guess I guess that's the default. And I also turned on this show uh, map player location. So that's the only, by default that's off and you can't actually tell where you are on the in-game map. So you actually have to figure out everything based on uh, landmarks and stuff. Which is probably interesting. Uh, it's good for depth and all that, but uh, whatever, I like to see that. And I'm also allowing third-party camera because uh, I just want to. Alright, so let's go ahead and play local. This is going to take um, quite some time to load so I'll cut a bunch of this out but uh, while it's loading I just want to mention a couple things I said in the past that, you know I'm kinda not really uh, a big supporter of uh, early access games it, we all get excited about and play these early access games super early on and then by the time they release everybody's been playing it for a year and it's like well what you know when is it new or when is it exciting and interesting to play versus when is it half finished and you know whatnot so it's always a balance. Um, I think these guys are doing it right. I think they're really, really active with the community and they're doing a lot of updates and fixing a lot of things. So uh, I like where this is going, so I jumped in on this one. So, All right, let me give this a couple minutes and uh, once we are ready to load, or right now. Uh, actually, yeah, so I had already loaded, loaded this today, which means a bunch of it's already in memory and uh, it's going to be much faster. Okay, cool. So there we are. We are uh, starting our brand new arc. I deleted the one I had been playing, so we're starting over from scratch. And I uh, wanted to show you guys the character creator a little bit. Uh, so you got males, male and female options. You got skin color options. They just added some presets, so if you want to just like click on one and kind of go from there, you can do that. Um, it'd be a little stout, really wide dude, or a really tall, skinny guy that's so, so tall he's off the top of the screen. Actually, I think we can. Uh, yeah, mouse wheel zoom in and out. So let me play with this a little bit. I'll show you a couple of things, kind of funny things you can do. And sorry about the music. It's going to be pretty loud for the moment, but uh, I will uh, probably cut out the sound here while I mess with some stuff and speed this up for you. Uh, one of the uh, one of the interesting things people have been like doing is just making really weird looking characters. So let me make a couple weird ones. Uh, I'll speed this up in editing so it's real quick for you guys, and uh, and then I'll make my own character. So I will stop talking here. And let's make a crazy guy. All right, that seems to be one of the popular ones. We call it the Popeye look, with the uh, huge forearms and huge calves, but tiny little, tiny little upper legs. <laughs> okay, so I think I've created a troll. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm missing one thing. Let's do the uh, torso width. Here. We can make the torso like super crazy wide or really little, uh, make him even shorter or, or stretched out like a crazy man. Anyway, uh, 
Lots of weird options. Okay, let's make a real character uh, that I'm going to play. So, we'll start with the default and uh, let's do this. Alright, cutting this back in, I uh, accidentally clicked right now on create a new survivor before naming it and talking about the map. So we're going to rename my, my guy, of course, in ASOS. And this is a map of the island. This is the only map that's available in the game yet, yet, so far, whatever. Uh, there are plans for other modes and I suppose other maps and other things, but this is a pre-gen map. Uh, it's a very rough sketch here, of course, but basically there are several different regions you can pick from to spawn in. And these, uh, I'm not really sure what all this stuff is yet, but there are different features on this map that uh, we will encounter in the game. So we can pick uh, north, south, west, east, and zones one, two, three. Um, I don't know which one. I, I, I don't know if any of them actually really matter. Uh, I know the south zone initially only was the only zone that had uh, rocks on the beach, and they fixed that or added rocks to the rest of the beach. So uh, anyway, I don't know. Let's just go. What's the top of the list? East Zone 1. Let's try that. I don't think I've spawned there before. Create the new survivor and spawn into the game. Go! And go! There it goes. Oh, oh yes. The loud music sound, right? So it doesn't save your sound settings, unfortunately, properly. Ooh, that's nice. Good start. Alright, so we're on an island, which we saw from the map, and we see from the water. And we see from back behind us. But there are some strange high-tech monolith looking things. Uh, we're going to go into the options and I do have my music set down low but it doesn't save that properly. So just go into here, hit save, and then it should be fine for this session. Alright, as with every survival game, we need to start out by making some tools and to do that we're going to need some wood. Uh, if we hit invent I for inventory, we can get into here, we can see I've got some Founder stuff, uh, a couple of skins, nothing special. Nothing too special, I should say. And then we have a craftables tab. So the only things I know how to make right now are a torch, which we can see takes one, wo one wood, one flint, and one stone. And a stone pick, which takes stone, wood, and thatch. So we need wood. We have nothing. I suggest we begin by punching trees. Now the interesting part is, if you hear it, it's actually hurting us to do this. So you can see in the very lower right hand corner there our little health bar is going down because we're literally punching a tree and I think that would probably hurt so yeah there you go. Uh, the other thing is we can hit E when we're near these berries and we can go ahead and grab some berries out of these different plants and they're all over the place so uh, one source of food is going to be these uh, different types of plants and we're also going to get fiber out of there uh, we're going to find these little stones all over the place, and you can hit E to pick those up. And we're going to need that to make different weapons and tools and things, of course. So let's just get into it. Uh, the other thing I just said is really kind of a cool uh, bonus for us is that white beam of light right there signifies a... Uh, um, hmm, I'm, I'm losing the world. A, a drop, a uh, storage container, crate thing, deal, whatever. Um, so right over there is some good loots for us. I think the white ones we need to be level 3, so we're not quite ready to grab that yet, but we will be shortly. Alright, let's go back into here and see, yep, I can now make my stone pick, so we just double click that guy. Um, and I hit V this time to go straight to craftables. And now we we'll grab this, put him down there. And we're going to have lots of uh, red, red, yellow, and blue berries uh, are good for eating. I'm going to put those across there and we'll get started with that. There's our very first dino. That is a pterodactyl type of dino, and those guys are not hostile. Uh, we're going to want to really be careful and stay away from anything that's hostile at this point. Oh, here we go. Here is a lovely turtle. What are you guys? Car Carbonard? Yeah, Carbo something. Carbonemes. A level 4 turtle dinosaur. You're pretty, pretty gray. I, I wouldn't say you're ex exactly lovely compared to some of the other ones we'll see later. At any rate, I should stop talking and get to work because, uh, yeah, there's lots of things going on um, that are going to want to kill us really soon. And the faster I get some 
basic tools together, the better. All right, level up. Let's do that. So hit I, and now we can pick something to level up. I really don't know what's great to level up, uh, but I know running away from things is a big part, at least of the early game. So I'm going to pick a little bit of movement speed, and you only get like 2% per, but uh, I still think it's worth it. Uh, okay, so every time we level up, we get engram points, and then we can use that to learn different things. For instance, we want to know how to make a stone hatchet, so learn that. And we probably want to make a spear, so learn that. And I hear something, I think it's just a turtle, but yes. We want to just keep our eyes open, eyes and ears open here. Now, like I said, these pterodactyl ones aren't don't seem to be a problem. They don't seem to attack, but there are other birds that are not quite as nice. Okay, so we've got two engram points left. Um... We probably want to make a stone hatchet, and that's going to take a piece of flint, which I don't have. Good news is, the way to get flint is by breaking these big rocks, and we do that with our pickaxe. Oh, one other note, you can't pick up this, uh, like rocks and berries, with a, with a tool out. So, for some reason, you have to put your tool, whatever you had out, put, unequip that, put it away, and then you can pick up the berries. Um, they just added piranhas, or made more piranhas. This is not a piranha. This is a coal, and those guys are good for early game um, raw meat, food, so you can kill them pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, I just found out, found out about a fish. And then when it's done, when it's dead, we can just hit it with a pickaxe and get some meat out of it. So, there you go. Uh, probably can stick... Oh, that scared me. I saw that shadow, and I was like, oh my goodness. Um... Probably can stick to berries mostly early on, but uh, the meat is good as well. I'm, oh, that's one little thing. If you stand too far back, sometimes it uh, seems to not give you the items out of it, and then you just keep hitting it over and over and over. And then we have some very realistic physics because the rock explodes and uh, <laughs> and becomes transparent, so we can just walk through. Uh, but you know what, hey, it, again, it's early access, it's sort of an alpha. I, I kind of hate calling it an alpha, but, um, you know, uh, I had a good conversation. That was really Minecraft's fault. This whole early access movement, it's all Minecraft's fault. Alright, it's not really all Minecraft's fault, but if you think about it, that's basically what happened for Minecraft, is it started out distributing the alphas saying hey I made kind of a game and, and it's kind of interesting and you know you guys want to check it out and people did and people paid for it because you had to pay did I lose have I been talking that long I think I lost this drop oh, can I jump in the water um yeah I think that drop was right here. That supply drop was right here and it's gone now. Dang it! Teach me to spend so much time talking and gathering resources, I guess. Oh well, uh, there you go. So yeah, those do have a timer on them. They drop and you'll see them actually drop out of the sky, kind of down that beam of light and then after a while they disappear. So there you go. We lost our first supply drop. I was gonna say that uh, that would have been pretty cool to get that right off the bat like that. but. Uh, Oh well. Anyway, let's get to crafting. So let's make ourselves a hatchet. And I'm going to want a spear, which is going to take some more wood. Okay, we can do that uh, very easily now that we have a hatchet. And I'm going to put that there because I'm going to put a ranged weapon here shortly. A um, couple things here on the pick. At, this pick. So we can see it's mostly broken now. I can... Oh, they've changed it? No, they haven't. So repairing requirements is one stone, one wood, and five thatch, versus creating a brand new one is one stone, one wood, and ten thatch. Okay, so it is slightly cheaper to repair it. So let's get some wood. Uh, basically, we're going to chop down trees. If you chop them with an axe, you get more wood. If you chop them with your pickaxe, you get more uh, thatch. So there we go. There's a bunch of thatch, a bunch of wood, and a little bit of thatch. Let's go ahead and repair this guy up, I guess, and save a, a little bit. Oh, we got to go back to inventory. And so you can repair it in here. I think it's slightly cheaper to do this. Or you can wait for it to break, and then you can actually create another one. And uh, I'll show you guys the uh, neat way to do that here in a minute. All right, so that one gave us lots of wood and a little bit of thatch. This one's going to give us lots of thatch and a little bit of wood. So you just got to pick, do you want uh, more thatch or more wood? And 
use the appropriate tool. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm going to uh, let the recording keep going, but basically I just want to wander around a little bit and um, gather some berries, gather some more rocks. Not a lot more rocks because they're rather heavy. And uh, Oh, here we go. Never mind. We have a brand new drop. There you go. You can see it coming in, dropping down there. Now, let's not get distracted. We've got dodo birds. Hi, dodo bird. I'll come back for you. So that's another easy way to get some uh, raw meat early on and some hide. Ooh, actually, I'm going to want hide real soon. Let's let's go ahead and kill this guy. So this guy says he's boosted. So there's another one around here that it's like mated with or whatever. But I mean, these are dodo birds, so it's not that big a deal. Well, there should be another one around here. I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. So uh, again, with uh, the pickaxe, you get more meat, and with the Hatchet, you get more hide. Alright, let's not, let's not waste too much time here. I feel like there was another one. Alright, let's not waste too much time because I want to get over to this one for sure before it despawns. Now, you can swim in this game, but I would highly recommend you don't unless you have to. Because there are... There's one, two... There are sharks that are called megalodons. They're Jurassic sharks. There are piranhas. There are crocodiles. Cro uh, what, what are the crocs called? So, so, I can't remember now. Uh, this guy's a, an herbivore. He's fine. He's a little bit shiny behind there. He's not going to cause us any trouble. And In fact, he's a pretty good early-ish game mount. Not super early. I think you have to be like level 10 or 15 for that one. Let's just hoof it over here. I'm trying to keep my eyes open make sure nothing terrible comes after us because we're pretty much dead meat at this point if uh, a lot of different dinos come after us. Okay, it's over there. We're getting there. Um, yeah, let's just get away. Okay, and a spitter came up behind me while I wasn't. And oh, well, these are dillos. Man, I thought I was keeping my eyes open, and I was not. So we ended up here, and that drop is actually in the middle of the water, right here, with the sharks. All right, so East Zone One was here. Let's try East Zone Two. Um. Hmm. It is a random location, but it's based on where you try it. So I don't know where East Zone 2 is. Let's just try that. No, shoot. This might be far away. I don't know. Uh, but your stuff does disappear after a while. So let's hit M for the map. And I do have that turned on. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're we're still. I changed zones, but we're still pretty much right there. Uh, okay, so that's another white one. And did I get to level 3? I'm level 2, so I don't think I can even open that yet. Okay. If I had been paying attention and seen that Dillo, I could have taken him out. Um, probably could have taken him out. It looks like... Oh, shit, it should... Mm, again, I don't really want to go swimming. Let's get up on a rock here. I want to see where the shortest path is, if I can. Okay, can I not get on a rock? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a shark right there. But I think I can go this way. That looks pretty short. Uh, I may end up regretting this in a big hurry. What do we got? What's that? Isn't it so pretty underwater? Alright, alright. Let's hope. No piranhas, no megalodons, no sharks, no crocodiles. Just, just a nice, easy swim across over here to this dodo. Come on. Come on. Dodo, you've got a weird shadow. I guess that sort of makes sense. Okay. Cool. Didn't die. <laughs> Not dying is a good thing in this game. Oh, and there's another dodo. Dang it. Okay. Can we get over here and get around the dodo? Yes. Those dodos are tough to see sometimes. They're little and uh, because of the lighting and stuff in this game, sometimes it's really tough to see them. Okay. 
Let's see if we can get out here and get this, or if this is going to be a horrible, horrible idea. I mean, I got nothing to lose right now, do I? Your, uh, your, your corpse does despawn, though, so I guess there's not nothing to lose. I want to get to the corpse, but I'd also like to get this drop before it disappears. Let's get up on this rock in case anything's chasing us. Oh, did I just jinx myself by saying that? No, 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 come on. Swim fast. I wish you could, like, sprint swim. Uh, okay, we look. Sort of okay? I'm still not level 3, am I? Does this take level 3? I think it does. Uh, survival level 3 to open. Yep. And you can swim straight through. Okay, well that's fun, but maybe I can get to the shore and get my stuff back. Get out of the water, please. Oh man, the day is almost already gone. Okay, I can't see anything. Let's get up on it. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, so that happens. Um, you and the dinos all have to go to the bathroom sometimes? But you just sort of do it wherever. Okay, he walked off. Let's just take all, and it'll all go right back where it was, so that's good. We don't have to resort everything. Um... Which is interesting. I don't know why they just made it do it that way. But the, the point of it is to uh, be able to... Ah, I wish I could get that. Oh, well. Oh, wait a minute. Does this make me level 3? The point of it is you can actually use it for fertilizer uh, when you get to things and stuff. Let's add a little bit of health. Now, does that mean I'm level 3? Yes. Okay, let's get this quick before it disappears. That 30 of 100 we saw when I was down there? That's because it's almost... Uh, going away. It's going to disappear unless we get it really quick. Oh, don't you silly fish, you're scaring me. Oh, you are so bright. Crazy drop. Come here. Come here. Come on. You, uh, okay. Ten of a hundred. We just barely got it. Alright, so we got, uh, oh good, good. I got a whole bunch of uh, cloth armor. I don't have to make all that. At least the first time. Okay. Um... Where are we at, guys? Oh, wow, yeah, that's probably about it for the episode. It's night one. Um, I'll take, check the recording. I am going to speed a few things up, cut a few things out. The other problem is when it gets to be night, it gets to be dark in this game. I mean, like, seriously dark. So, uh, last thing, let's just do I have Yeah, I can make a torch. Good. Um, so, two things about the torch. One is for light, because you're going to need it. Oh, and we can put uh, we can put our clothes on. So we got some gloves, a shirt, pants, a hat, and uh, some. So we got a full set of cloth armor, which is not going to do anything about against dinosaurs, but it is going to help us stay warm uh, at night and stay cool during the day. Oh, oh, I hear. Where is he going? Oh, dude, that scares. Oh, okay. So that means he's running, probably from a dillo. Yep. Oh, man. And the Dillo... Keep going. Keep going. Okay, the Dillo just gave up on him. Well, let me see. Oh, man, I don't know if you guys can even see this. It is so dark. Oh, yeah, right, because this. Bam. Torch. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to kind of hide a little bit and craft a couple things here during the night, maybe. I don't hear anything horrible right now. Uh, we can also... Um, Let's see, I turned on third person so I could see this. So you can also do C to kind of crouch down and X to get down prone. Make yourself harder to see. I don't know if that actually works against dinosaurs or not, but uh, but there you go. We can kind of crouch down here. All right, I think that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I'm going to... Oh, last thing I want to do. Sorry, I, knew, I was going to do it and I, that guy scared me. I'm going to take my hunter hat skin and put it on my cloth hat. There we go. We got the old crocodile Dundee look going. All right, I think that's it for the first episode. hope you guys enjoy and uh, there's a lot about this I don't know, and of course it's early access, so it's going to change a lot. So let me know if you guys have suggestions, tips, ideas, uh, if you like this, or if you think uh, format should change or whatever. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next one.